training video is to show you how to create a new storefront on your platform. You'll be required to add in your platform login as well as your platform password. We need to initially just log in to your storefront URL. So if I click login, and then we add in our platform login details. Once we're logged in, we'll see a list of all our current storefronts on this platform. We will need to access the platform level directly, and we do that by clicking on the select button at the top of the list to indicate the platform. Now the dashboard has loaded, we can see at the top we have current account and we are at the platform level. We then need to navigate to Catfish, Storefronts and Storefront Management. Here is where we're going to add in our new storefront to our platform. To start that process, we need to click on the blue plus icon and then we need to add in a new record so we can add some entries for our storefront. We move across here to the add new record button. That creates an entry for us to enter some values. So this will be the account name for our new storefront. So demo storefront and then we can add in a description, whatever is relevant for your storefront. We then simply click on the command key of insert, and then that is the storefront added into the list. Currently, storefronts will list out in numerical order based on their account ID. So if we just filter and reorganize those to the latest, we'll see our demo storefront appearing in the list. If I click on the blue plus, I'm now required to add a alias URL, which we can then target this new demo storefront to. If I click on the new add new record button here, I'm able to add a value in. Now it's important here that you only use lowercase characters, no spaces and uh, no special characters. So we will use the word demo store, all one word, all lowercase, and click insert. Then once we're happy with that, we'll close down that window, close down the portal drop down and then simply click the clear account cache at the top just to refresh all those savings that we've made. And then we'll clear the cache in the top right, the admin cache as well. So to now access the new storefront we've created, we will need to go to the demo store itself and we will need to firstly log out of our platform with our platform account. And then now we can change the URL to target the new storefront by adding in the URL alias, which we've just added in. So forward slash demo store and click return.
now that we've accessed our demo store we can see that the new storefront is now ready for us to use we need to now log in to the storefront using our platform admin account and then create some new storefront administrator users or regular end users and then the site can be configured and designed as required.